going to start actually cladding the rock wall that we finished forming up pouring and we did the scratch coating on it last video so today the rock is going down and then the following day we're going to grout it and place all of these seashells and marbles it's what the customer wants it's a custom creation you guys probably have never seen anything like it so uh stay tuned for that let's get to it Oh yeah. So at this point I am placing the rocks on the wall. I am putting mortar on the back side of them and I am squirting down the wall with a little sprayer and then tapping it with a mallet into place and kind of just looking at it, double checking, checking my spacing, seeing if I can get shells in there. I always hold the piece up first before I actually throw mortar on the back and right here I'm leaving a big gap because we have these semi big seashells that we're putting in certain areas like every one foot apart and you don't want them perfect the customer didn't want everything exactly the same so i'm kind of just winging it putting them where i think that they would look good and stuff like that i'm baking the frosted <laughs> cake <laughs> It's also key to scrape off all the excess mortar whenever you mallet the rock down off of the edges because it will affect your grout going in those cracks. And you got to keep in mind we're putting seashells and marbles in these cracks so I need them clean so I can fit a lot of grout in there so I can push in these seashells and these marbles to where I want them. Sand dollar. Can you fill this up more? Yeah, yeah I guess I could go there. there. Put it right there then. You think it's too close to the top? No. As long as it's not protruding over the top. Then it's good. Yeah.
beautiful. So right here, the big this big shell is going on. It was down here. Now we're gonna raise it to about up to this level. And then it'll be about down there. So I'm just leaving that area open until we get around to that. This is the side I've been doing. And then this is the side Jose's been doing. They're looking pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the main thing that we do is pavers. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, we do pavers, artificial turf, and concrete. This is a new, brand new house. It's already got some pavers, but I want to extend them. Okay. It's yeah. a nice flat back. Yeah. yeah. So but I'll get a hold of you. It'll awesome. be in April. I'm, I'll be back in April. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, look good. Thanks. Of course. Big pieces. Uh huh. Got that much left to do. So tomorrow, I'm gonna get a pallet of this stone, and then I'll finish rocking the wall while everybody else starts grouting and putting these seashells and marbles in and then it'll start looking like the art wall it's supposed to it's getting there it is getting there You see the big wall I make in Mexico, right? See, at your house? That's what I tell them, Freddy, I got one like the joints like this, kind of. See. Uh, put that shell up, tap con that shell where it's supposed to go. Up oh, there. You gotta put it in the middle. Yeah, she wants it six inches under the lip. So, six inches down from here. Ah, uh, okay. And then that's the top of it. So it'll go to like right here. What's she having here? Small one over there and big one right there. She said she's gonna buy a new one. Oh, the same size like this? Maybe not the same size. This one's hard to find. Oh I yeah. Know. Yeah, that's a that's a real seashell. I don't even I don't know where they found that. That had to be like a thousand feet underwater, man. What happened if we broke? Oh yeah, we don't want to break it. Got to be careful. We took it off without breaking it. We should be able to put it back on. It's already got holes for the tap cons. We're just gonna put tap cons right through the holes. <laughs> maybe see that if you win. Yeah, maybe. We can't break it. Got to be extra careful. And then she said she was gonna get bigger she seashells that we could replace that because that one was broken already. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. So that's why I just took it off. Cause she said she didn't want it anymore. She was gonna get bigger ones, and we're doing the same thing with this one, putting it six inches under here. And then uh, 
she said she was gonna get a couple of them so maybe one right here one in the middle one right there so i'm just gonna chip off whatever one's in the middle where she wants it whenever she wants to put that one Maybe even one on the side over there. Maybe side, right? Yeah, maybe. So, whoever she wants it, I'm just gonna chip them off and put it in there. That's gonna be fun to lift up. I lift them on my by myself, and I think. No. You picked it up and put it on top of that? No, we all rolled it. I got with it on the, video. With the rod. <laughs> Came out looking pretty good. It does look pretty good. 